Uh, anyway, um, let's get another movie on. 3,000 Years of Longing, which is an adult fantasy adapted from a short story, uh, The Gin and the Nightingale's Eye by A.S. Byatt. This is directed by George Miller, who made Mad Max films, Witches of Eastwick, Babe, Happy Feet. So, you know, has walked the full counter of fantasy filmmaking. Tilda Swinton is Alethea, British narratologist scholar, who appears to be doing very well. Narratologist? Yeah, she's a scholar of of narration. Of stories. Okay. It's gone over stories. Okay. She travels the world investigating lectur- lecturing upon the origins and meanings of myths and stories. She's haunted by visions which blur the line between stories and reality. And when she's in Istanbul, she, bis- she buys a misshapen bottle from which emerges a djinn, genie, by, played by Idris Elba, who offers her three wishes. However, she's well versed in such stories and she knows that offers of wishes are also cautionary tales. Here's a clip. You mock me. Three wishes, perfectly simple and theoretically safe. I was imprisoned by Solomon precisely because I cried out my heart's desire only by granting you yours may I earn my release. Yes, well, I appreciate the symmetry, but the thing is this, I cannot for the life of me summon up one eligible wish, and you're asking me for three. Is there any life in you? Are you even alive? You know, in some cultures, absence of desire means enlightenment. Then you are a pious fool. If I'm content, why tempt fate? And you're a coward. Don't goad me. See, I really like Tilda Swinton and I really like Idris Elba. And what happens here is that, you know, rather than coming up with the wishes, she basically asks him to tell her his story, which he does, how he was captured, put in a bottle not once but several times because he enjoyed the company of women. His story goes back to the Queen of Sheba through to the present day, involves him falling in love. And during the course of the story, she falls in love with him. So it's a story about somebody falling in love with stories. Now... George Miller has worked across, as I said, a range of fantasy genres, action, animation, you know, he he knows how to do this. The problem is the film is utterly baffling because it's essentially, it's like watching a story that's designed to be read or or maybe to be heard as as an audio book, but almost certainly not to be visualized. I kept thinking of Vincent Ward's film, What Dreams May Come, or Peter Jackson's The Lovely Bones. Both of these are works by visionary filmmakers who somehow managed to make the afterlife look like, you know, Super Mario world or something. There's something really unforgivingly literal about the C- the omnipresent CGI that seems to strip the story of the very magic that the stories that it's talking about have. And when you're watching a story about stories, but you're being distracted by the computer visuals, that's the point at which you think, okay, this isn't working as a piece of cinema. As I said, I think that uh, Idris Elba and Tilda Swinton are good. There is a gorgeous score by um, Tom Hock- by Junkie XL, Tom Hockenborg, um, which at times reminded me of the themes from Rachel Portman's Never Let Me Go, which is one of my favourite scores of all time. But despite all that, I kept thinking this would work so much better as an audio book or this would work so much better as a radio play, or this would just work so much better as a printed short story. It doesn't work as a film, and that's a shame. Oh, wow, you've made it to the end. Congratulations. Now you're here, you may want to hear about some of our other offerings. Other offerings? Yeah, you know. I know what? You know, the the other offerings, the exclusive interviews we do on our hit subscription podcast, Kermode Mayo's Extra Takes. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, that. The one where we speak to the likes of... Tom Hanks and Daisy Edgar Jones and the extra subscription content where Rowan Atkinson told us all about that famous rapping scene in Love Actually. Yes, that's the one. Amazing. And where would our lovely YouTube subscribers find this mystical creation? Well, I'm glad you asked. They just need to go to kermodomeo.com or tap the link in the description. That easy, eh? That easy. Incredible.